Hi everybody, I'm Randy from Team Turf and I just wanted to put a little video together for you about thatch problems in a lawn. As you can see this lawn here, it doesn't necessarily look like it's that bad of a lawn, but if you look closer at some of these areas in here, you could see a matted brownish area um, that thatch is causing a problem. Some of the problems thatch causes in a lawn is if you look here this dead thick mass of grass that builds up over time which thatch is a lot of times people will think thatch is just a browning that you see on the top of the grass but that's not what thatch is thatch is this dead layer of dead grass and root zone that builds up over time and problems it causes in the lawn are it acts like a sponge when you do get rain and water your lawn, the thatch will tend to soak up this water like a sponge and it doesn't allow to get to the root system of the lawn, um, which causes the lawn to suffer. And especially once you get into the hot, dry weather, the lawn will brown out, won't hold color well, and it eventually will die once it gets, once it gets so thick. Um, another problem it causes is it doesn't allow materials to get through the lawn when you're putting down fertilizers, grub preventatives, that sort of thing. It doesn't allow the materials to get through the thatch layer. It gets caught in there and doesn't reach the soil and it's not utilized like it should be. Um, what we're going to do here today is going to go through a process of dethatching this lawn very well a couple times. Then we're going to aerate the lawn real well. Then we're going to slit seed the lawn. Um, we'll take you through those steps one by one just to give you an idea of the process that you have to go through to correct this problem. In some instances, which this could be one, the lawn necessarily could be stripped off to the dirt and start over again. Like I said, this is something that just happens over time with lawns. And to help keep that from happening, just proper maintenance, um, aerating every year, twice a year, will help keep that thatch under control. Um, so if you think you may have a problem, it's something you want to keep up on and address before you get to this stage. So what we're going to do is first we're going to start dethatching this lawn and we'll put together some quick videos of what we're doing and take you through the process of what we're doing. 